Need some extra tools that you and your mods can use to keep chat moving and not derail the stream? Want to empower your mods a bit and let them help you manage your stream so you can focus on the game or the topic at hand in chat? Well, I've got a handful of useful commands for you to implement in StreamerBot that'll help you with all of that. Hi friends, I'm Flair, and I'm a variety streamer over at twitch.tv slash Flair, and I make guides here on YouTube to help streamers learn to use cool streamer tech. Today, we're going to be looking at some commands in StreamerBot that you and your mods can use to make things a bit easier during your stream and help you manage your Twitch channel. Instead of going through these all one by one and building them all from scratch, I'm going to provide an import code for all seven commands, and then we'll dig through each of them and I'll show you how they work. So let's get down to importing the commands and actions. The first comment on this video will have the import code you need, so go down there and copy that beast. While you're down there, let me know in the comments what your favorite moderation command is and what other bots you use, and I'll tell you how to move that command over to StreamerBot. If you're not familiar with importing and exporting commands and actions in StreamerBot. I've got a whole video about that, and I'll put the link in the description. But we'll go through it here as well. Once you have that big block of text copied, just load up StreamerBot and click the Import button at the top. In the Import String box, paste that big import code, and you should see seven items populate in the Actions tab, and also seven matching items in the Command tab. Ensure that they're all checked and click the Import button at the bottom. All right, now we're done. Next video, we'll talk about some commands that you can... No, 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 just kidding. We'll go through each of these one by one now and see what they do. The first two of these commands are for those of you who switch categories often. Maybe you stream for a long time and make it through a lot of games. Maybe you switch back and forth between games and just chatting. Whatever the case may be. You or your mods can type exclamation title and then whatever you want the title to be and it'll switch for you. Similarly, you can type exclamation game or exclamation category and then the name of the category you wish to switch and it'll switch. Though this one requires you know the exact spelling of the category. In order to make this simpler, if you switch to a similar category all the time like just chatting or maybe Fall Guys or something, you can make individual commands for each of those categories that you switch to often to make it easier and a little bit more foolproof. That way you can just hard code the category into the action instead of having to remember to type the category exactly correct every time. These next two commands are more to show your appreciation for other streamers than they are to manage your own stream, but they're both commands that can empower your mods to help you out nonetheless. First of these is the nearly ubiquitous shoutout command, or exclamation SO. I've got a whole separate video about this one that goes through a more advanced shoutout command, and I'll link that in the description, but I've included a simplified example in this import that'll call out another streamer with a link and a reference to their most current stream game, which is the most common use case I've seen for a shoutout command. The second command of this group is significantly less common and requires a good amount of trust in your mods. You may want to lock this down to specific users rather than just any moderator, but it's easy enough to cancel if things go wrong. This is an exclamation raid command that lets your mod set up a raid for you at the end of the stream. All they have to do is type exclamation raid and then the username of the target and it'll set up a raid for you. Easy peasy. Quick note, this can easily be canceled by the broadcaster through the UI in a raid pop-up or you can use slash unraid in chat to cancel a raid. I want to take a moment to thank you all for watching and ask that if you find this video useful at all, please hit that like button, consider subscribing to the channel, and leave a comment. It helps me out immensely and it's free. I'll answer any question you ask in the comments, and if I don't know the answer, I'll help you find it. The next one I don't see very often, but I think it can be pretty useful. This is an exclamation commercial command that'll let your mods run a commercial for you using 30, 60, 90, 120, 180 seconds for length. But Flair, why on earth would I want my mods to run a commercial for me? That seems pretty disruptive. All right, calm down. I'm not saying this is something your mods should do all the time, but I can think of a few examples of what times it would be nice to have this available. Say you're taking a break, and your Be Right Back screen is up, you're off fetching a drink or wrestling a toddler or whatever. Maybe your mods can use this time to run a quick ad for you to help keep pre-roll ads away when you return. Also, maybe you get hit by really nasty follow bots and suddenly you have 300 or 500 or 1,000 bots in chat causing trouble. This is a great time to run an ad and hopefully one of your mods will have the clarity of mind to run it for you while you're panicking trying to get rid of the bots. In any case, I don't see it being the most useful on this list, but we're talking about empowering your mods to make decisions and manage your stream for you, and this is just another tool for their tool belts. These next two are mostly useful for keeping things organized. First, we have exclamation marker, where you and your mods can add a marker to the stream with an optional description. This can be seen in the highlight tool under video producer, so you can go back and highlight a clip, a good moment, or some funny death, really any other moment you want to be able to find quickly. Markers are dramatically underutilized in my opinion. Next, we have the exclamation clip command, that does just what it sounds like. It automatically creates a 30 second clip. It's unfortunate that Twitch doesn't add more options to this ability yet, but it could still be a handy way to snag a funny moment without having to go to a new tab and miss out on what's actually happening next. What other commands have you given to your moderators to help you out? I'd, I'd love to hear about them in the comments. I'll be doing another video on commands for general users as well, so keep an eye out for that one next. I stream on Sunday and Monday nights on Twitch, and I'm always down to talk about bot stuff, so come by and pick my brain. Or leave your questions here in the comments and I'll do what I can to help out. I'll answer every single comment, and if I don't have your answer, I'll find it. Helping's my favorite. Thanks again for watching, and as always, remember to spread love, not hate.